What's up, YouTube? Yeah, Carfi TV, and I'm recording another team battle with Nexus. So, Nexus is up against TSB. Not sure what that means, but it's Dark Rye Cross against TSB Phillip. So, he's going with Gold Paladins against Kagro. So, this is going to be a really good match. Uh, so, he rides Player of the Holy Axe, Nemu. So, that's decent. Let's see what Philip has. Philip, Philip, go. So right now, card fight capital has a lot of lag going on. Oh yeah, I'm talking with my friend Omer. So yeah. So he rides embodiment of armor bar, which is good. So that means he has three bars left in his deck, and he's gonna call one out with cornrow. So. Let's see him go for the attack, or he's gonna call something else. He calls Kimnara, and Kimnara is a good card. It's a really good card, actually. Just retire one grade one. So we have a deck that calls units like superior calls, and we have a deck that retires. So I'm expecting to see really crazy stuff, really good stuff. I'm not sure if he's running Dragonic Overlord at the end, but if he is, that would be even better. Well, not for us, but like that would be a more intense match to watch. So he rides Player of the Holy Bow Vivian, and Vivian is a good card. When the attack hits, you can basically just call whatever's like just pretty much whatever's on top of your deck. So he goes off and calls Slago Dagger and a Holy X Namu. I expect Philip will guard. Well, if he's good, he if he's good, he'll guard. Unless it's really hard to guard a grade one though, because you really want to save your grade one units. Unless you have a draw trigger, that's the pretty much the only card you can guard with. Yeah, just like that's pretty much the only thing you can guard with at this point in the game is with a draw trigger. So Dark will attack with Vivian, and will Philip guard? Philip doesn't guard. So let's see. I'm expecting the counter blast. So he flips one damage and he will. So he calls Slago Dagger. So it looks like Philip is running Dragonic Overlord at the end. So that's pretty intense. I'm not sure what the Dark is running. It pretty much has to be Azel. Yeah, he has Kerf. So he's running Azel, which is pretty good. So let's see what Philip has. Philip rides Berserk Dragon, which is a decent card. It can just retire basically anything but a grade 3. But the thing is, you need 2 damage, Counter Blast 2, so he can't really use the effect right now. So let's see what he does. I'm thinking that he's going to use Cornrows. Is he? Okay, so I'm guessing he's just going to go for the attack. So, yeah, he attacks. And Dark's not going to guard because, yeah, it's just not really, there's no point in guarding right now. And Philip gets a draw trigger. Ah, uh, okay, so actually we're seeing White Hair in the Moon Shadow. Pillin War, which is a really cool card. I like to see this. It's kind of new because I don't really see a lot of people running it. But it's really cool. So, ah, looks like Break does not have a grade 3. So this could be a really crucial match, or a crucial draw, I mean. And this is the first match. I will be going next. So, you know, puts kind of pressure on me because I have to win that match. So, let's see what he got. Okay, so he got one. That is pretty good. That is one of the just top deck pro. And he'll go for the attack with Nemu, which is just weird to say. And Philip guards with Gatling Claw Dragon. And he'll attack with Slate with White Hair boosted with Slagle, which is 17. He won't guard. Mm hmm. So let's see if. Philip has Dragonic Overlord. 
if he does, that'll be okay. So he gets a critical trigger. So Philip takes one more damage, and that's Velocity Dragon. So Philip's turn, and he draws. I'm thinking we're gonna be looking at Dragonic Overlord, but I haven't seen him draw check any Grade Threes. So you know it's kind of iffy right now. But he has been getting draw triggers. So, it wouldn't surprise me if he has the necessary cards needed. He has six cards in his hand. So, let's just see. Yeah, he has Dragonic Overlord. And, you know, Dragonic Overlord is nice. 11k, which is just over 10k right here. And Burning Horn Dragon, which is a very good card. Grade 2, pretty much 12k automatically. And he calls Grape Shot Wyvern. And Wyvern's skill is... When this unit appears, okay, so he gives extra 2k to Horn. So he just put this at 20k total, which is really good versus a 10k Vanguard. That forces two guard. So let's see. Okay, so he's using Cornrow's effect called Bar. So that means he has two bars left in his deck. Or he might have one in his hand, but if he did, he would have called it. So let's see. Yeah, so he gets bar out there. You know, 90% of the time when a Kagero uses Cornrow, they get bar. The other 10% of the time, they get their perfect guard. You know, so it's pretty good. Decently, you know, yeah. Cornrow is just one of those really good cards. Like, if every deck had that kind of support, it'd be really good. So he does his drive check, and he drive checks Bari. So he gets his perfect guard, which is pretty good. He does a second check, and that's his third bar, so he has one more left. And Dark Damage checks Knights of Superior Skills Bowmans. So this is 17k total, and he takes it. Probably wants his limit break, but if he could have, he should have guarded that and took the other one. He shouldn't guard this. Yeah. So that is a lot of damage. And... Yeah, so Dark has a total of 7 cards. I don't know if he could have guarded, but he has this card right here. It is actually clogging up space at this point in the game. But the thing is, with White Hair skill, it's just going to send these two back to the deck. So that kind of relieves space, especially at this point. Because he really needs it. So let's see what happens. He's attacking, and we're not seeing Limit Break. It doesn't look like he's using his Limit Break. Because when this unit attacks, so he's not using the limit break, which is weird. I'm not sure why he does not want to use it. Maybe because he doesn't want to go for game. But he does his damage check, or drive check, for Vivane and Little Battler Tron. So no triggers, but he does get Tron, which is a really good booster. So yeah, but, you know, against Dragonic Overlord, Slago Dagger is a better card. Because total, that'll be 20k, which is not enough to force a double guard for Dragonic Overlord. So, he goes for... Yeah, that was a good play to go for Burning Horn Dragon. Burning Horn Dragon is probably too annoying for the card, but I wouldn't go for it anymore. Because, well, actually he has bar, so it's actually really good that he's going for it. So, yeah, that's wise to go for Burning Horn Dragon. He'll probably guard... Because he's going to force that 20k, and that'll be really hard to defend against. But he does have one intercept, which is okay. I don't know why he did not use white hair skill. You know, I'm not a really good player with the gold paladin deck. So, you know, he or, yeah, gold paladin deck. So, you know, I'm pretty sure that Dark is really good with this deck. And he's got to be really experienced just... The fact that he's in Nexus, and Nexus has really good members, so he has to know what he's doing. And it looks like Shirai's is taking the time to think. Yeah, it's got to be a really hard choice. Because I think he's going to, if he guards it, then he has to go for game next turn. Because he has one bar. So he's going to retire the unit right here and call bar, so that forces two cards in his hand. Which are the two cards he has, which is one perfect guard and bar. That's what he has in his hands, because I'm you know, like when you play Vanguard a lot of times, you you get a good memorization kind of thing. 
So, yeah, this is a really hard choice. If I were him, I would guard. If I was in his case, I would use the perfect guard, which is really stupid. Oh, he disconnected. I really hope he comes back. I'm going to pause the video because he disconnected. So, coming back to the match, it looks like Philip finally decided to guard with Blu ray Draco Kid. So, now I'm actually kind of confused to what he had. Okay, because I remember that he used a perfect guard. I hope they excuse me for doing this because it does say if I look. So, yeah, he decided to use his perfect guard, Bari, which is cool. So, he must have been had this critical trigger. I don't really remember him drive checking this one, but that is fine. It was a good choice to guard, though. I would have chose to guard, but the fact that he guards means he has to go for game right now. And Dark has a lot of cards in his hand. I really doubt it's going to be easy. So, you know, perfect guard, that's really good. Oh, oh no, that's not good at all. Oh, that's going to be really hard. Oh my. Oh my. And he, yeah, so Dragonic Overlord the end and Blu-ray Draco Kid. So really he just got the best two cards he could drive check at this situation. Though these are the best two cards he can drive check right now. Dragonic Overlord the end and a critical trigger. And that's what he did. So let's see. So rest bar to boost Berserk Dragon. And he's going for the attack. And Dark will guard. Because he, yeah, I know he can guard thing. But Philip is actually on the ropes. As much as it looks like he's winning, he really is not winning because he has not yeah four cards in his hand. So he's not gonna even. He's probably just gonna guard this attack, and that's about it. So let's see what. I hope he has Azul. If Dark has Azul, then he might be able to come back. Azul's counter blast would be amazing right now. Actually, I think I think Dark actually kind of has this because he hasn't used this limit break yet. Okay, let's see what he got. Azel? Yeah, he has Azel. I don't know why he didn't use the Counter Blast still. I think, like, last turn he should have done White Hair's limit break, which would have been better to put these away. But, yeah, Azel's is still good. So, uh, let's see what he has. So, Drive Checks. Ah, man, I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. That sucks really bad. Uh, dang, that's really, really, yeah. So, yeah, it's just a pain because he had a heal trigger coming up. You know, stuff like this happens, though. That's the kind of, you know, it happens in Vanguard. Like, a lot of times I've milled heal triggers a lot of times. You would, you would be, like, he, almost every game, I can tell you that. Almost every game I've milled a heal trigger. So he's going for Burning Horn, which is good. And he'll guard. Probably with Berserk Dragon. No, probably not. I know he has Overlord in his hand. And he's going to cross ride. So. Okay, so if he's doing this, I'm guessing he kind of wants room for Overlord. So he might not be cross riding. That makes it a little bit easier on Dark's part but yeah Dark is trying to clear up his field ah oh, my phone is ringing whoa so I got this alarm I'm supposed to not even be doing a video right now I'm supposed to be running but yeah I'm just gonna be playing Vanguard forget about life so Dark went in with the attack with Azul and he gets a critical trigger which is really good I'm happy about that you know, a critical trigger at this point in the game evens things up. Hopefully, I want him to get a heal trigger right here. That's I want this heal trigger to be wasted. That's what I want to see. That is exactly what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see, a wasted heal trigger. So, let's see what Philip has. Philip either is going to cross ride or he's going to call. I don't know what else he has. I'm not going to guess. Because I really don't know what to guess. If I was a Kagura player, I would just fill this right here. I, you know, I personally don't see the point in cross riding when it's boosted like this. Because look, 
Boosted with the 6k, that cross ride is going to get 19k versus Azel. That's pretty useless. Not, you know, wasn't needed. It really, there's no point in cross riding. Okay, but he, oh, he had a Dragonic Overlord. So, oh, this is not good. Yeah, I think Dark lost. Because Dragonic Overlord's Counter Blast, Target Elixir. That's going to be a 20k Forced Guard. Oh no. Yeah, this is going to be really painful. He has to guard. Oh man, that's going to be a lot. I really don't know what he should do. I don't know if he should guard or not. I mean, yeah, he should guard, but like, that is really, yeah, that's a really tough choice as to whether he should guard or. Oh wait! Why didn't you guard? No, you should have guarded! Ah, I'm like, I can't coach. He should have guarded that attack, and he should have left this one. Man. Yeah, he should have left the attack. So, yeah, he has to do a lot of guarding. It is going to be really tough for him. That's what I was trying to tell him. Like, right here, he sees that he did it without the boost. I was, I was going to say, I was going to tell him, but, like, I'm not trying to mini coach outside the match. That would really get him mad. Like the other team, I've actually done it before, and the other team just gets just mad. Like they get they go crazy for that. So Dark can guard. I'm happy about that. So it's two to pass. As long as Philip does not get two triggers, as long as he doesn't get a trigger, you know, at all, because this is at 18k. He kind of wasted. You know, this skill is only once, so, oh, heal trigger, why? That sucks. So, Philip gets a heal trigger. I don't know, it just looks like things are going good for Philip, just trigger-wise. A heal, yeah, a heal at this time is too much. I don't know, I think that's five cards in Philip's hand. No, four. So, yeah, Philip is doing really good, but Dark was kind of on the, like, on the lower edge, lower advantage, and he's still doing really good. And it looks like he can guard, but he has to use a lot of grade 2 cards. But, you know, he has Azel. Azel's a really good card. Azel's very explosive. Just automatic use the skill, you know, get what you have on top. But Dark has no cards in hand, so it's now or never. Let's see what he has. I am... I hope he got something. I don't know what he got. So yeah, limit break and draw trigger. That is ah oh, man. So it's just on the lower side for you know for dark. Dark is just having it really bad right now. That's the second time he's limit break a trigger, which is really painful. So you know, I don't know how he's gonna come back from this. I don't know what he drew. He pretty much has to go for it. You can still win dark. Yeah, he drew air. That's horrible. Because he drew a critical trigger. So yeah, you only live once, bro. So, he goes for flame of victory. And no skills. So let's see what he's about to do. So Slago Dagger's Counter Blast, which puts this at... Let's see, that puts this at... 9 boosting 4 that boots it at 13k which forces a guard so he's going for burning horn dragon he doesn't really have a choice so yeah you know dark just had it on the lower side like just luck wise I guess you can say because it's a card game it's pretty much 50% luck 50% skill you know dark he played good, but he got out luck because he was using Azel's skill and getting triggers and stuff, which is just pretty lame for that to happen at this point. So, I'm not sure what he can do. He'll probably need a double trigger to boost this, and if he can get it. But I know that Philip has a heal trigger in the hand. That sucks. So, this is good. I hope he gets a heal trigger. If he gets a heal trigger, he might be able to live the turn. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm happy for this guy. Because he's been having some pretty bad luck in this game. And the fact that he just got 
double trigger, critical and heal trigger, which is exactly what he needed, which forces him to, you know, that's a 23 guard, which forces a really big guard out of him. That forces a huge guard. One more big boy. Yeah, so. Yeah, so that forces everything in his hand. So, I Dark might win. I was really counting him out because these guards, that's pretty lame. But Dark did good, you know, that double trigger draw. And it's funny because if he hadn't used Azel skill, he would have got a draw trigger and a critical trigger. So, yeah. Hmm. Let's see what happens. So, Philip draws. Let's see what he drew. Philip has been lucky this game. Well, I'm not saying he didn't play with skill. He played with skill, but yeah. He top deck Velocity Dragon, which is pretty lame. Just top deck the grade 2 or grade 3. This is a really intense game. Uh, man. I don't know what Dark can do. If I was him, if I was in position, his position, guard, guard, and let this attack go. That's pretty much all you can do right now. Hope and pray that Philip doesn't get a critical trigger. But Philip has been lucky right now. So, yeah. If I was dark, I would take this to the face. If I was dark, I would take this and just take like a man. Philip is out. So, if dark can win this, if dark survives, then pretty much dark can win. So, yeah. That's all he can say. Let's see what Philip gets. As long as Philip doesn't get a trigger. If he does not get a trigger, Dark would win. Or well not win, but he would live and potentially be able to go for the all out attack next turn and Philip gets a critical trigger. Like I said, this guy has been so lucky this game. It's almost ridiculous. So he pulls a critical trigger, which is just lame. But I cannot count Dark out. I hope he gets a kill trigger. You know, that's what he gets. He has two chances to get that heal. So he has to go for it. And he does not have a choice. So critical trigger. You know, stack triggers, that's going to be pretty tough for him. Oh, oh man, never mind. That's Philip's second check. So second check, he got another critical trigger, which is ridiculous. So as you can see, as I said, he's been so lucky this game. It's almost crazy. So that is the end of the game, guys. It was a really, really intense match. Dark really worked with what he had and, you know, wasn't working too good for him. I don't know why he didn't use this card's limit break. I think that would have been really good. But, yeah, it stuff happens. So, that's the game. So, next is me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. You know, like the comment. I have to go up against Philip, I think. And against that deck. That's going to be pretty tough for me. So, I'll see you guys later. And peace.